Good morning and welcome everybody. Going to be starting out here on our uh, farm pharmacology class. So um, not much to do here in this first day. Uh, make sure that you watch that PowerPoint video. It's in pages in Canvas. Uh, you should be able to find it if you found this video. You'll be able to find that one. Uh, make sure that you watch that and read chapter one. I'm um, not sure, but I may uh, start uh, next Monday out with a quiz over chapter one. Uh, so make sure that you get in that just in case I get this quiz made. Um, <clears throat> kind of depends on how I feel this week after I have the uh, kidney stone taken out. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Um, then I think I, I'll just go over the syllabus here real quick, and that's really all that we have to do right here. I'll go over the syllabus, which is kind of you know just the basic garbage that we all have to do. The hump, the hoops we got to jump through, right? Um, so we'll go ahead and get that done, and then you can watch that film. That's it for first week in pharmacology. Um, as far as the intro class goes, uh, your your other class, um, we will meet on Thursday on Zoom, right? I will send you an invitation. Uh, you'll click on that, and then we will go ahead, and the, the meeting will be a Zoom meeting. Um, nothing to do on Tuesday and Wednesday. Not sure yet what we're doing next week. Uh, we're, we're trying to see if we, if we will can get permission to go ahead and hold our labs, because uh, we only have uh, three in a group, and we have two groups at a time that can kind of be separated so hopefully you know maybe we can do that I don't know if not we can see about postponing in a week but I don't have a whole hell of a lot of uh, faith that uh, in two weeks they're going to tell us yeah okay come on back because I know last year remember how that went uh, oh we're sus suspended until such and such a date and then that week before that day gets here well it's going to be a little longer than we thought and a little longer well the whole whole damn semester ended up by uh, online so I wouldn't be a bit surprised if that's what happens here so I'm I'm ready for that so you might as well get ready for that too uh, okay so we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go over the syllabus we'll see if we can get a, a screenshot here so you can see what the syllabus is I read it to you so here's the syllabus right here 2020 syllabus for your pharmacology class ADN 220 is the number for it. There's not really a whole lot here that I need to tell you about. As you can see, we will be in the Technology Center in room 15 if we ever get over there. We'll see. Uh, I have office hours, Tuesday 9 till noon, Thursday uh, 1 till 3. Uh, I will be in my office. You can call my office uh, at that time. Uh, while the college is closed, I don't think you can do anything other than call or e email me. I think probably emailing is your best bet. When we get back to the center, if it's if the college is open again, then you'll be able to come in and see me in the, the office if you have questions. Um, what I'd like to tell you about this course is that this is not uh, a course that will teach you everything you, all the medicines that are out there, right? Every test you take, there are going to be medicines that you've never heard of. What we are going to do is we're going to teach you how to recognize uh, categories, and a lot of times you'll be able to recognize what category, what what classification this certain medicine is just by the way it's spelled. Uh, and you'll see how that works uh, as we get going through the class. But uh, And we definitely want you to be able to pass out meds uh, in a safe manner. Uh, there's a and you're going to also need to be able to calculate medications, uh, how much you give. They're usually ordered in milligrams, and you're going to have milliliters per milligram. So you're going to have to figure out how much to give. Not anything complicated, but you're just going to have to do it. Um, <clears throat> let's see here. Okay, and down here, uh, you can see here Clayton. Uh, is the is the author of your pharmacology book. I'm not sure what edition you guys are in. I have 17th edition. Uh, last year they had 18th edition. I think you still have the 18th edition, but you might be up to the 19th. I can tell you between the 17th and 18th edition of this book, there's not much difference. So you'll be just fine uh, with either one of those. Uh, 17th, 18th, and if there's a 19th out there, you'll probably be fine with that too, although I haven't gone through the 19th edition yet because it's not been available. I've not seen it yet. And the drug guide. So you're going to have this drug guide. 
and that's the med that's the uh, book that you'll look your medicines up on, right? And we'll we'll look through some things on that too, so just so to make sure that you know how to use that drug guide. Uh, and a new requirement here is that you have a computer, webcam, and uh, uh, internet, right? You're going to need that because uh, we're going to be zooming a lot of our classes. It looks like. Uh, teaching strategies that will kind of depend. It, I'll tell you, it's mostly a uh, lecture. Uh, we will have some activities. Uh, we're going to have to practice handing out, uh, passing out medicines, things like that. Uh, looking up medicines and telling me if you would give it and how you would give it. Uh, let's see. And then down here, probably the big thing to note here is that this is our grading scale. 93 to 100 is an A, 85 to 92 is a B, 77 to 84 is a C, 76 to 70 is a D. So if you get a D, you more or less didn't pass the class because you have to retake it before you can move on. You have to get a C or better in any nursing class. Uh, so if you get a D, uh, it might help you. Know, it's not an F, but it, it's uh, not going to help you at all in this course. Uh, so um, and it, I guess I could say it might as well be uh, an F. Uh, uh, we don't round up. If you get a 76.9, you did not get a C. So you did not, you will have to retake the class. So you just remember that. Although if it's really close, if it's a 76.9 something, I will look through all of your old uh, uh, quizzes and exams and see if there's anything in there that maybe... Uh, was was mismarked or something because when you're that close one one answer can make a difference uh, right here is our uh, our uh, schedule as you can see for this first week here read chapter one right uh, if I might have a, a, a quiz on chapter one uh, for our next class um, not sure it just depends on if I can get it made or not uh, so read chapter one uh, and watch the video uh, in Canvas for over chapter one, it's a uh, PowerPoint. And then in files, you have a PowerPoint, right? There's student PowerPoints and files uh, of your Canvas files. So go in there and you can print that out. It's a little easier to take your notes because you can follow right along. Uh, it's it's uh, uh, copies of, of the PowerPoint slides. But you can go through this and you can see everything that we're doing. The med calculations here, right? You're gonna have, we're gonna have to figure out how to uh, uh, do the math to figure out how much medicine to give. Super easy stuff. This isn't isn't anything hard. Equivalencies quiz. All that is is I'm gonna hand out a, a sheet to you um, that tells you you know so many ounces in a in a teaspoon and uh, so many milliliters in an ounce and stuff like that. So uh, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to figure all that out. Uh, there were how many, so many milliliters in a teaspoon. Is, teaspoon is smaller than an ounce. So let's see testing on medication. Okay, we'll we'll go through all that as we go. If you have any questions, you can just ask me. Assignments on makeup. Uh, as you can see here, a total of two tests or quizzes can be made up, or any assignment. So in other words. You, you miss quiz day, right? Well, you can make that up. Well, let's make it up so that you can go into the test center and make that quiz up. Uh, you miss another one. You can make that up too, right? But we got 16 weeks to go. Remember that. Because after you've missed two and you've made them up, you can't make them up anymore. You still have to take them because you have to, you have, to have taken every quiz and exam. But you'll get a zero on anything after two. So make sure that you don't miss quiz day or exam day. It's just not a good idea. Uh, and when you have to take an alternate exam, it is just that. It's an alternate exam. It will not be the same exam as, that the rest of the class took. Let's see. And this talks about the test center where you go and all that stuff. And no recording devices are allowed in the classrooms. And I, that's just a rule that we have. I, I kind of turned my head to that one, actually. Uh, the only thing is, is I will talk about some things sometimes that are uh, somewhat confidential and could be uh, 
a HIPAA violation. If we're talking, if we're discussing a patient that you took care of in clinical, it's a HIPAA violation. So in our, uh, in our uh, intro class, intro to health concepts, uh, it probably really we should not record anything there. Not as important usually in farm because we aren't doing the same uh, kind of thing. When I don't, I don't open up discussion for uh, for clinical and in farm usually. I'm not saying that it doesn't happen sometime on the side. Somebody brings something up that a patient that they had. Right, right here. I'm you. you know, talk about how quickly we we promise to get your exam results and things back. Uh, I usually do them right away the same day. FERPA, we protect your confidential information, and that's really about it. The rest of this is the stuff that you can look over. Uh, kind of generic stuff that the college uh, has me put in these syllabuses. So let's see, or syllabi, I guess is the plural of syllabus. Mm, that's it on that. I don't really have anything else to say. So the first week, first class of pharmacology is done. Uh, thanks, and I will see you all Thursday. This is what your screen would look like. It looks very similar to mine. So if you look over here on the left side over here, you can click on the files. This is still doing some thinking here. That'd be your home page. And I do have this... Uh, announcement on here. We could go over here to files. And when you look in files, it will have a lot of the stuff that uh, that uh, I'll be needing, like your nursing handbook. Uh, here, one of the papers that you're going to need is this nursing handbook. You'll click on that. The handbook's a pretty big file, so it takes a little bit for it to open up. Once you get the handbook opened up, uh, it take a little bit here. You read through it. You can print it out if you want. See uh, up here, I'm kind of clicking through the pages. You should be able to do that right here. It doesn't seem to want to do it. Five, six. Now we read, 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 read all of it. Let's see. Then you get all the way to the end, and this is what I was shooting for. When you get to that there, this is something that you might want to print out. Now, if you printed the whole thing out, you just need to date and sign this thing here, and it will you'll turn that in when you turn in all of your uh, uh, shot records and you know the immunization record and uh, your proof that you have a CNA and proof of CPR, all that stuff. Uh, and by the way. BLS, basic life saving, that's most of us, we call it CPR, if that's what we're asking for. Uh, so that will be turned in with, with all this stuff. And I, I believe that you can record, that you can uh, print just that page if you want to save ink. Uh, let's see, the syllabus is right here. This 